<laughs> okay, this is the Italian Carcano. Um, this is the 1938 short rifle. Um, this is the rifle that was very similar to one that JFK was shot with. Okay. Um, the bayonet cost me more than the rifle did. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? <laughs> um, these folding bayonets are really, really rare. Oh my. And there's a, there's a sheath for it. Uh -huh. There's also a groove in the... Just say, how's that? There's also a groove in the rifle. Oh, to, the, to receive it. For, yeah. To receive the folding bayonet. And like I say, it folds back in here like that. Isn't that neat? It is. Like I say, the... I think I paid about $185 for the rifle, and I paid $235 for the bayonet. <laughs> it, they were just, I was watching them on eBay, and you know, it'd get, it'd get day before the closing auction, and they'd go to, you know, they, they'd go for, you know, almost $300. It's yeah. like, okay, I'm not paying that much for a bayonet. And then one day, I just got obsessed about it. <laughs> I was like, $200 was always my limit. Well, I ended up paying $235 for this one. And like I said, I think I paid $185 for the rifle. Now, there's more of a story to this rifle. This counts for both the, my Italian part of the collection mm -hmm. and the Finnish part of the collection. This particular, um, right before World War II, Italy decided their 6.5 was, was not a powerful enough round okay. for military. So they, 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 uh, they started manufacturing a 7.35 millimeter. Um, same size rear brass, same size, same, they even use the same in block clips, but it, you know, it's a little bit bigger round. Well, war broke out. They didn't have any of this other ammunition produced, and they had a ton of the 6.5 stock, stockpiled, mm -hmm. so they switched over manufacturing these in, in 6.5. Okay, well, the ones that were left over, uh, I think 74,000 of them were shipped to Finland to help fin the Finns fight off the Russians. Because mm -hmm. the Russians, the Russians had sent 4,000 troops and 400 Finns that kicked their ass, mm -hmm. send them back, you know, send them back crying. Which is one of the reasons Hitler decided that uh, Russia was probably ripe for the taking. Because, you know, the Finns, they couldn't even, you know, they couldn't even take the Finns. Mm -hmm. um, and this <laughs> thing has a, a lot of Russian equipment. There's the a stamp here that says SA. That's the that's the that that's indication mm -hmm. that it was served with the fin, Finland army. I don't I don't know what the SA stands uh -huh. for, but uh, the Finns u mostly used most and Nagants captured from the Russians, and they started making their own. And those will all have that SA marking on them too. So this is one of the hundred and or this one of the seventy four thousand that went to uh, oh, wow. Finland from Italy. Uh -huh. And they were just used as backline rifles. The uh, r rumor had it the Finns didn't like them at all. Of course, they were you know compared to the most Nagant. The most against a lot simpler rifle, mm -hmm. you know, a lot sturdier, a lot more simple. So you know they didn't. So I, I, rumor has it that any the first motion they could capture, they threw their their Italian rifle away. Okay. Fins today.